Hello, my beautiful and talented people. Thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings. I deeply appreciate you all. Today, we're asking, how are they feeling about you? We have pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. Take a moment, figure out which one feels right for you. Just want to remind everybody that I am doing a giveaway at 9,000 subscribers. So be subscribed and comment if you want to be in the running for that. And I will be giving away two free readings once I hit 9,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, my gorgeous darlings. Uh, and if you want to book with me, my email is in the description right below the timestamp. That is the best way to get in contact with me. So, pile number four. How are they feeling about you right now? How are they feeling about you right now? We've got the five of wands. Seven of Wands, King of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. This person is definitely conflicted. We have the Five of Wands, the Seven of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the King of Cups. Now, with the Five of is this person specifically in conflict with you or is this person in conflict? I feel like this person is con in conflict with themselves regarding you. Um, but it also doesn't look like this person is maybe letting you close to them because of um, their own fears and worries. This person also might be a very emotional person. Um but it might come off as them being not coming off as very emotional because they're just blocking. Clarity on the five of wands, king. Well, it's the gentleman and yeah. So this person is conflicted about opening up their heart. This person is an emotional person, but keep in mind, like this person, like their intent is to kind of keep you on the outside. So that can be a very exhausting energy. We've got the Queen of Swords and the Bouquet and the Queen of Cups and the and the little crane. So Sorry, it's a, so Queen of Swords is uh, somebody that has definitive standards. Um, the Queen of Cups is somebody that is emotionally open and loving. Um, the standards are over the bouquet and the bouquet is about appreciation. And the Queen of Cups is next to the crane, um, the, the stork, sorry. Um, and the stork is like new beginnings. It could be, you know, a new life in the world. Um, are you putting up some a kind of boundary? I feel like this person... They seem like they're a they're a tough nut to crack. Um, I feel like it's it's important that you have standards um, regarded how you're treated in this situation. We got the Queen of Cups, so there is some emotional compatibility here but you have somebody that is afraid of starting something emotional. So know that if this person isn't, you know, responding to you, it's not necessarily about you. It's this person being conflicted and keeping people at a distance. And that even though you are some kind of really beneficial potential new beginning for this person, that doesn't mean that this person is going to be able to see through their fears and anxieties. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. So we don't have the Queen of Wands yet, but we have three out of the four Queens. 
And we have the Two of Wands. The Queen of Wands um, is about personal motivation, is about their own personal passion. And the Queen of Wands is in control, uh, you know, takes control of their life and doesn't necessarily wait around for other people. And there is a fork in the road here. There's more than one way that this can move forward, but I feel like there is a need. I feel like this is somebody that you shouldn't pursue because if you do, they're going to, you know, do everything they can to keep you on the outside because of their own fears. I feel like I, 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 I think that it, dealing with this person is about, you know, making decisions to move forward, be about your best life. And I think that this is much more likely, but not like, I'm not saying that if you move away from this person, this person will automatically give you an offer. I am saying that this person is very conflicted about taking offers of love in spe specifically. Um, and if you are choosing the road ahead of you, I mean, it might give this person an impetus to realize that they will miss out on somebody that is emotionally compatible with them if they don't lower their guard. But right now, like they're very much in their, they're very reactive and they're very in their fear. So this person has to figure out whether or not they want something that is steady, stable, long-term, something that could last the test of time. And know that even if you're, you're being the most amazing queen there is, like this person has to open their selves up to allow themselves to have that experience, which means a new emotional beginning for this person. With the fork in the road, like there's, you know, there are decisions that need to be made, uh, which is going to depend on how things move forward for you guys. Because each of you gets to make a decision. How does this person feel about you? We've got the Emperor. This person may want to have some kind of control. We've got the Chariot. The Emperor can be somebody who's really got all their stuff together. If you're coming up with so many queens, you may really have their, your stuff together. We've got the King of Wands. And we have, so now, like, this is the third blocking card that has come out. So with the Emperor, the Emperor is somebody that's generally very good at making the material realm, the earthly plane, uh, you know, manifesting what they want through some kind of action. Um, sometimes the emperor can be dominating or really trying to like, uh, like in its negative, this person could like have a real desire to control everything. And that like, if, if the control is put inward, that's healthy. And if the control is put outward, it's not particularly healthy because controlling other people is an illusion. Um, maybe you can intimidate people for a while until you lose them, but. So I feel like this person 
I feel like the universe is trying to push this person towards some kind of success. This person may have trouble letting go of control. Um, this person may have trouble releasing, you know, walls that they've put up. And I feel like this person, if things are going to work with this person, it looks like this person has to be a leader in their own life. Not, not necessarily try to be a leader of you, but like realize that they're they're in charge of going after what they want if if that's what they want if they want you know somebody who has a great deal of self appreciation they're going to have to show that person appreciation and if they want success and something long term steady and stable that will be on the emotional compatible realm for them then they have to get out of their way and move forward. But this person, it does look like this person blocks themselves a lot. This person, it seems like you're, it seems like you, you definitely, like this person may react to you in, in an intense way because I think you threaten them possibly getting close to somebody, but them getting close to somebody is something that they are very afraid of. We've got the Jack of Wands. Um, for some of you, this person uh, may try to deal with less serious relationships and things. Um, because we have, you know, blocking, you know, a real new beginning, being conflicted about that. And then we have that Knight of Wands. So this person, you know, part of the conflict is this person would not be able, well, they could do what they always do. Um, but doing what they always do wouldn't lead to a long-term, steady, stable relationship with you. Um, and a part of them, like, might be on some level trying to sabotage having that because of fears and anxieties that they already have. How are they feeling about you right now? Three of Pentacles. We have Temperance. We have the Four of Wands. And the Eight of Swords. I knew it was going to be too simple. All right, so... You are somebody that this person could have a harmonious relationship. You are somebody that this person could build something bigger than just what they could do by themselves. Uh, but this person has some highly self-limiting beliefs. And those are things that this person needs to practically work on. Like they need to like put real energy and effort into clearing up the beliefs that they have that limit them, that limit a connection with another person, um, that keep them in conflict regarding um, maybe even having a relationship. I think that it's important not to see this person as someone you can fix because this person is definitely feeling something for you, but because of their anxieties and fears, they're, they're putting up a lot of blocks and, and it's, and it is partially because they could 
at least on some level, they believe that they could have something amazing with you. And it's not something that they're willing to allow themselves to have, at least at this moment in time. It's not that they couldn't. Yeah, this person feels a very intense connection to you. Food, eating, be mindful of the thoughts that you are ingesting. Yeah, this person has to be very mindful of their thoughts uh, because their, their thoughts are um, putting them in a prison which doesn't allow them to open up to this. It keeps them in a place where they're a little bit disturbed, actually. So it's, it's important... And I feel like it, that's not just advice for them. You need to think about what you're taking in regarding this. It does look like that you guys have something intense between the two of you. Adit, I'm sorry, Aditi, which is creation. Apologize if I mess up any of the names of these gorgeous goddesses. Create a wind down routine. Turn off your phone an hour before you get to bed. This is a sleeplessness card. Um, have some tea, do whatever you need to rest your mind and heart. Yeah, this person, like, they're not being able to be restful. They're not being able to put down some kind of boundary. Uh, and it's not that we shouldn't have boundaries. Uh, we definitely should, um, but we probably shouldn't have our walls up so high that even somebody that is right for us can't come in. Um, those should be about having standards for your own, uh, for how people treat you. Um, so I feel like this person, they can't really sleep They can't really rest their mind or heart. Um, and it's not that they're, well, I think that they might be com particularly conflicted by you, but they're particularly conflicted by you because you're threatening the beliefs that they are currently imprisoned by. Music, excuse me, dropping things as always. Sing the song of your soul and dance to your unique rhythm. I feel like this is advice for you and advice for them. Uh, I feel like you being you is the best thing that you can do here. It does not necessarily mean that this person is going to lower their guard but it does mean that because this person has to get out of what, you know, what the prison and defending the prison that they're in so that they can be authentic. Um, and I think the reason why is like you being you can show them what authentic is. Now, I don't know if this person is going to make these changes. They seem like very stuck. And they're, they're fighting for their stuckness. And even though the universe is trying to push them forward, they have to be willing to learn the lesson. Like, the universe can't change them they have to decide to be changed pick up the phone call someone you love no text no uh, don't slide in their dms give them a call see how they're doing then really listen are you supposed to call really listen to this person i feel like this is energy that deep down i think that they know that this is what they should be doing ten of swords and it does look like maybe for a lot of you, there hasn't been communication for a while or there's been some really, really bad communication. 
Um, and it seems like we know of the eight, the nine, and the ten of swords. So it's the self-limiting beliefs and the fears and anxieties leading to, you know, endings between the two of you when, like, there is a need to communicate. Now, if this person has shut off communication, it's going to have to come from this person because this person seems to be doing everything along the way to block. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is about working on something in a very real way. It's like the hard work you put in. And the hard work being put in is key here. So, this person is extremely conflicted. And you definitely, this person views you as a threat because you threaten what their status quo is. And even if their status quo isn't great, People don't want to change. They do in a cerebral sense, but in an emotional sense, resist because change is scary because change is different. This person seems like they've dug themselves in. And I think that there is a need to not lose yourself in their lack of clarity. Just know this person does feel a connection with you, but they have to figure out whether they're going to allow themselves to have a healthy, emotionally compatible situation, or they're going to continue to do what they always do. So, Let's get you some charms. So there is a core issue. There is a chance for there to be prosperity here. And I feel like there's a reason why you may feel a connection. But there is, there is a core issue. Like there's something that needs to be solved for this to work. We have the letter J, so maybe that is helpful for some of you. And we have the, the smiley face with the tongue si sticking out. Um, something regarding maybe silliness or maybe is this person being silly? Is there a need to be a little bit more lighthearted? I feel like there's a need to be a little bit more lighthearted. Regarding this person's inner conflict. You know, I just think that it's important to not take responsibility for what's going on in this person. Uh, at least, like, they, they might get themselves together, but if they haven't, then they're... Ooh, I had the wrong thing up. I apologize. Now it's going to be confusing. All right. We're going to try one, and I'm going to be better at what I do. <laughs> so let's go to two. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, pile number two, my gorgeous angels. Pile number two, my gorgeous angels. How are they feeling about you? We got the... <clears throat> excuse me. Suddenly my uh, throat is very tight. It wasn't a thing in the earlier one. Like, So I get that there might be some uh, communications or a blocked throat chakra. <coughs> All right. It's a little bit better now. Can, uh, do you want to give me something about the throat chakra so you can let me speak again? Judgment. <laughs> and suddenly I can... I feel like this person is facing some kind of consequences. This person can see something long-term 
steady, stable with you. This person can see like this person has feelings for you. Um, and I feel like there is an energy of this person wanting to work together. So, uh, this person sees you as a match for them. But there's something, and it's something regarding communication, something, um, there's been some kind of consequence. There's been some need to learn from a cycle. I feel like at this point, this person, you know, this person seems like there's affection, wanting to work together something, you know, something that's a legacy that could last the test of time. But we have judgment and the tower. And the Six of Swords. Um, this person had some kind of tower regarding you. Maybe this person caused some kind of tower for you. Maybe this person took something that was um, steady, stable, able to last the test of time and really broke it apart at the foundation. Uh, and maybe this person is having trouble communicating because of that. We also have the Six of Swords there, which is moving on to calmer waters. So I feel like this person does want to move on to calmer waters from, you know, whatever instability. But I feel like this person is having to deal with some kind of consequence. Because I think that this person now wants to start over again and offer something that can be built upon instead of something that was very unstable. Yeah. Person wants to offer a steady, stable new beginning. This person wants to offer um, love and affection. But there has been a consequence of heartbreak. feel like I should get a clarity on the Three of Swords. Eight of Swords. I think that this person doesn't necessarily know. This person, fe uh, this person feels restrained by their thoughts because of heartbreak and a tower. And they might feel restrained. I feel like some of them like took something that was really, really amazing between the two of you. Maybe a greater compatibility that they'd ever felt before and really messed it up. Maybe not all of them, but I feel like that's a, a I feel like that's more, I feel like that's the majority of the people I'm reading here. And that's why the consequences aren't fun. So this person does want a new beginning. This person does feel love. This person does want to cooperate. Um, but this person has created a prison for themselves. For, you know, has created limitations for themselves and maybe cause there to be significant heartbreak in this connection. How are they feeling about you right now? Justice. I think that on some level they they now want to do right, I think, but I don't know if they know how they could possibly do that. Seven of Pentacles. 
especially on top of judgment. I feel like this person on some level reaped what they sowed. I don't know if this was through another something else, but like they reaped what they sowed. They sowed something and they got that back. Um, we have, uh, this is the second Ace of Pentacles. They want something steady and stable. Like if they weren't ready before, it does seem like they are ready. Knight of Wands. Uh, I don't know if this person was somebody that uh, couldn't really be depended on in the past. I think for some of them, they, they might realize that they have truly lost your trust. And they're wondering if they can get that back. Because there isn't a lack of affection. And this person is going to have to come from a place of strength and self-control and... Um, like they have to marshal their more primal side in in order to like like rise above so like this person does have a lot of passion for you you know it seems like you have a lot of passion for this person um, but like things fell apart between you in a very intense way. And I feel like this person, it's, yeah, they, they, I think that they made some kind of mess here. And they're reaping what they're sowing and they want there to be like balance now, but like, what do they do? We've got hope person definitely has hope that things can work out between the two of you we have the ocean go with the flow and flow with the glow is this person going with the flow I feel like this person did they go against the flow why is this here? I feel like there's something more to it than just go to the uh, go with the flow. We've got the nine of pentacles. It's interesting because the nine of pentacles is something that is very steady. Um, and going with the flow is, is something that is, you know, does go with whatever so I feel like uh, this person can definitely see your value I feel like this person can you know maybe see that maybe this per uh, this person like prob uh, probably sees a long term steady stable relationship with you that I feel like this person um I think that this person has felt like they've been going with the flow but I feel like instead it's kind of like instead they've just been like going you know, just like if you try to, you know, hold a little bit of water, you know, and you, if your fingers aren't really tight, it's going to go through. Like, I, I feel like this person may have lost some kind of opportunity to ground things with you. Uh, I feel like they kind of... I feel like they kind of went around something where they should have been more there. We got the Queen of Pentacles. So this person definitely sees you as relationship material. 
Um, I feel like this person is being challenged or going through some kind of transformation. This person may feel like they saw a transformation in you. Healing. So this person is doing some kind of healing. Um, maybe so that they can do the kind, uh, give you the kind of offer that you actually deserve. Because I feel like they might have made a mess of this at least once. You're dope. Trust that. So this person does know that you're awesome. I just feel like this person... This person doesn't know what to do about the consequences. Like, they're, they're having to deal with some kind of consequences, and they don't really know what to do about it, and consequences led to some kind of broken heart here. And they might want to make things right, um, but, like, how do they do that? So let's pull you some charms. Oh, lots of letters. Let's see. So we have K C oh K C S as in Sam A. I don't know if, if this means anything, but it actually does spell sack uh, and L, which also would be lack. Uh, but I think these are, A, so A, L, K, S, and C. We've got a sad face and kind of a wry, uh, and, and a raised eye and a raised eyebrow. So I feel like this person isn't really happy with the choices that they've made. Um, I feel like this person, you know, does want to like signal that they're interested in you. Um, I think this person doesn't particularly um, know what they can do because I think that they made some kind of mess um, like this. Um, but they didn't forget that you were awesome. So I hope that helps you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I deeply appreciate you. If you want to book with me, my email is in the description. If you want to be part of the giveaway, there, uh, make sure that you are subscribed and comment. I'm going to give away two as soon as there's 9,000 subscribers. So my gorgeous pile number three. How are they feeling about you right now? We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Star. We have the Two of Wands and we have the Five of Cups. So, um, this person feels like there has been a very difficult ending. This person, whether, I feel like this person has to make a decision to go forward, but they've convinced themselves that they can't make any kind of choice. Uh, they've kind of convinced themselves that there's nothing that they can do. When I say convince themselves, I'm, I'm, it's like this person can act. This person can release themselves. Like this person, there is an opportunity for wish fulfillment here, but this person seems to focus on the negative. So I feel like this person has to make some kind of decision 
And that decision is actually going to lead towards wish fulfillment. Um, but they've kind of convinced themselves that they can't do that. And even if they were just to look, uh, you know, they w would probably see that not everything is lost. We have the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords can be dishonest behavior. It can just be, you know, trying to get the upper hand. Trying to get the upper hand really stood out. Five of Cups. Like, this person may have lost because they were trying to get the upper hand. Um, that ended up being a, some kind of sabotage. So, if you're wondering if this person, you know, yeah, the, this person has some really limiting beliefs. Um sabotage the connection maybe by sabotaging themselves and I think that some of them were trying to have the upper hand maybe trying to have more power in this situation <laughs> so I heard bull you know like this person like there's an ability for this person to start over and be honest and clear uh, act in integrity. I feel like, like, I feel like, because we have like the Ten of Swords, which could be a lack of communication and the Ace of Swords, like, which is like a brand new beginning in communication, or it's just honesty and truthfulness and integrity. And it's very antithetical to the Five of Swords. This person needs to make a leap of faith and be honest. Because the it seems like the decision to move forward is kind of in their court. So we have the Queen of Cups, <laughs> but this decision to move forward would require emo emotional vulnerability. And the funny thing is like, this would lead to success for them. This would be what Yeah, but this person needs to, yeah, I, I feel like this person just definitely focuses on the negative. Uh, maybe they, you know, are trying to get the upper hand because, you know, they believe that otherwise you'd have the upper hand um, instead of maybe like there being a, you know, healthy relationship in which it's not really about a power struggle. How are they feeling about you right now? The moon. This person is extremely unclear. They have so much going on below the surface that they actually have to look at in a real clear light. They. When I say that this person doesn't know themselves well, they really don't. And I think that that brings them trouble in, in, in their relationships because there, there's all this fear and anxiety and it does look like this person might keep themselves a prisoner because of that instead of taking action. But like this person is very averse to any kind of risk. And this person is dealing with some consequences because the scales need to be balanced. 
it's not about getting the opera at hand. It's about collaboration and building something bigger. Um, and this person gets very stuck um, in an emotionally immature place where instead of opening themselves up emotionally, like they get stuck in self-pity and maybe self-pity for things that they cause to happen because of conflict. <laughs> I say as the five of cups goes over the five of cups. Yeah, so this person definitely does have um, regret, but I feel like this person is, uh, and this person is dealing with some kind of consequences. This person even has the ability to like move forward, do different things, um, you know, start over if, if something fell apart because maybe you weren't honest, like be honest. But I feel like that's part of what they're learning right now. And these are some kind of consequences they're going to have for their lack of clarity because both of these are very unclear. This is everything that's going on below the surface. These are the thoughts that we hold to be true that aren't necessarily, uh, that limit us. So this person does have regret, um, but rather than, you know, moving forward with more honesty and integrity and clarity and taking actions forward. This person is very much just sitting in self-pity. How are they feeling about you right now? How are they feeling about you right now? Three of Wands. Six of Cups. I feel like they do yearn for you. They do want a return to you. But they need to make a decision to take action. And if they don't make the decision to take action, that future in which you guys are together, like they're, they're not putting the basic steps in place for that to happen seems like this person, um, I don't know if this is about being hasty. I feel like this is, uh, like they have to, I think that they have to move communication forward. Especially if they were the person who, uh, they were the person who broke the communication between you. Or, you know, maybe they... You know, this is a very difficult ending. Maybe, you know, maybe they were very betraying towards you. So I feel like this def person definitely wants a return. I feel like this person needs to take action and needs to take action specifically towards communication. Um, because right now this person is feeling self-pity and they're like imagining a future with you, but it doesn't seem like they're doing any of the actions to make that happen. How are they feeling about you right now? A spirit. Um, I think that maybe they feel spiritually connected to you um start over every day if you want is this person starting over every day i feel like this person has the ability to start over um i feel like they're being pushed to do things to start over i i feel like i feel like this one's the most important because the two of wands is really important that's the decision to take action and that's really what they need to work on. Because they can't have the Ten of Pentacles with you if they don't put the Eight of Pentacles amount of work into it. 
and they may feel really sad and really regretful. But like, what are they doing? Because if they don't move, make the decision to move forward, they can't manifest your connection back. It's literally like, this is the reason why it's a manifestation card. Um, and it's about like taking action, putting your passion towards something and waiting for that to pay off. But how can anything pay off if they don't take the action? So this person, like they're, they're deep in their self pity. They're telling themselves that there is nothing that they can do. And it's, and they're, and I feel like they're the only person that can actually move this forward. Like, it's not that you can't do anything. It's just like they, they need to get out of whatever this is. Um, because like they can't, like if they don't put the eight of pentacles action in, even if you want the 10 of pentacles, even if they want the 10 of pentacles, this can't happen. So strength, this person is having to, uh, learn to be strong. Um, but in action, this person isn't, they just aren't doing action. Maybe this person is in a cocoon of change. Maybe this person is going to keep themselves hostage forever. And, you know, and at that point, you know, no matter how sad they are about it. Flood. Express the ocean of your emotion. So I feel like um, maybe this person truly needs to express their emotions to you. Uh, they certainly need to like cut through the inaccurate and unhelpful things that are going on with them. And this person is feeling an intense amount of emotion, but they're you know, they're not handling it very intelligently. Um, yeah. This person has to communicate their emotions and actually practically move things forward with you. Um, but that's, that's pretty difficult for this person. Because they should be anchoring this position but with the nine of swords, this person has a lot of fears. They have a lot of anxieties. And maybe those fears in there are, and anxieties are what caused them to like feel this limited and maybe like even end things. We've got two, we've got the child. So the ace of swords came up again. So we've got the page of swords here, the ace of swords here. So we have the lady. I feel like on some level, they know that they need to give you the truth. But with the page, I feel like, I mean, there is some childishness here. We literally have the child card. Do you guys have a child with them? You might have a child, but uh, I feel like this person needs to communicate. Um, and this person does seem like they're acting childish. And we got the three of pentacles again. So this person, like they need to cooperate and collaborate with you in order for you guys to have 
a loving, kind relationship together. This person definitely has nostalgia from you and for you. But, yeah, I think... This person just seems to have a lot of problems with acting. Maybe they're, you know, more about what goes in their head than... But it's like they need to figure things out. So, yeah, this person has to face their fears. Uh, they ha uh, And... They, well, I guess technically they don't need to face their fears, but they need to face their fears for this connection. If they want to have this connection, they have to face their fears and they have to get out of fight or flight. Like they need, uh, or just dealing with the most base needs and like do some more self actualization. There is a potential for healing and wish fulfillment here. Um, I feel like, because we have Frida Kahlo, Wonder Woman, and the door between, which is, like, transition. So with Frida Kahlo, I get, you know, authenticity, you really being you, and you being you, why you're being successful. And we've got Wonder Woman, which is being powerful, but being, you know, kind, and, uh, even some, uh, even like an aspect of feminine power. I'd say both of these hold up. So I, and we have like this person does feel a connection to you. This person maybe has to transition, maybe has to be really authentic to themselves. Um, maybe has to like Wonder Woman would be somebody that's very proactive. Anything else we want to know about that particular transition? It's like, oh, with the nine of, so nine of pentacles is about self-worth and the coffin is about something ending something, you know, so I feel like I feel like this person is going to have to embrace their own self-worth and there are things that they can't bring into having a relationship with you. So like they have to end doing some things and embrace their own self-worth. Um, so then instead of acting like a page, they can act like a king or a queen. So, but this person, like, they want this to happen. They're, you know, nostalgic for it. But at this point, it doesn't matter if they don't take any actions. Where you were, uh, where were you a year ago today? Reflect on your progress. You're likely to find you've done even more than you give yourself credit for. So I feel like this person has to like look at their progress. Maybe they have made some kind of progress, but how would you know if they don't ever open up communication, if they don't ever explain things to you, if they don't. So I feel like this person does need to pay attention to what kind of progress they've made. Maybe even just so that they can decide, oh, I actually have to make progress. <laughs> because it does feel like this person is very self-limiting. So I hope that this helped. If you do want a free reading, I'm going to give away two since I hit 9,000 subscribers. So just be subscribed and comment and you are in the running for that. Uh, if you want to book with me, my email is in the description right below the timestamps. And I just want to say thank you so much. I deeply appreciate you all. And I hope that this has helped you. Time for my gorgeous pile number fours. Pile number four, my gorgeous angels. How are they feeling about you right now? Four of pentacles. 
Maybe not very generous. Uh, Queen of Wands. The Devil. And the Wheel of Fortune. So we have the Four of Pentacles, which is the miser card for a reason. It's maybe this person is a little bit emotionally closed off from you, um, maybe because they don't want to lose. They could even view this situation as unhealthy. They might view this as something that, like, they, they may view this relationship as maybe something that was meant to happen in their life at some point or maybe they just see cycles with you we've got the queen of wands either this person has a great deal of attraction for you or they are off you know focusing on what their best life is going to be they might be very focused on ambition Clarity on the Four of Pentacles. Clarity on the Four of Pentacles. So we have the Knight of Swords. Which is interesting because the Four of Pentacles doesn't really allow a lot of things to move. It's, you know, you're trying to hold on to prosperity, but it's unfortunately not necessarily allowing the energy to move. And we have the Ace, uh, not the Ace of Swords, I'm sorry, the Knight of Swords. Uh, and the Knight of Swords is the fastest knight in the deck and it's taking action regarding logic or communication. We have the, so now we have the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is moving forward emotionally. Maybe this person has closed off in a practical way and is moving forward on trying uh, doing their best to move forward emotionally and move forward in their headspace as well we've got the queen of uh, eight of swords like i feel like this person maybe they have some self-limiting beliefs maybe they feel like you have some very self-limiting beliefs clarity on the devil we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. So, with the Ten of Pentacles, is this person... It, it does seem like this person wants abundance. Uh, you go, they definitely might be taking action towards abundance. Um, maybe because we've got that on top of the devil and the devil is a very strong connection. This person could view you as, I know this is going to sound cold, but this person could view you as somebody that is in the way of their ultimate goal. And I know that that sounds harsh. Um, other than that, like maybe this person like can see some kind of maybe this person can see some kind of collaboration with you or maybe this person wants some kind of collaboration from you. This person may feel like they can't do many actions towards you. Uh, this person feels very restrained. Because this is a restraint card. That's a restraint card. Ten of Pentacles. It could be just about earthly abundance. It could be about a relationship that's really steady, stable, and a lasting... The steady, steady... Ugh, I can speak steady, stable, and lasting. 
So this person does seem like they're very focused on success. Page of Swords. This person may be viewing the situation um, in it and trying to take their emotional content out of it. This person may feel like a, an intense sense of lack here. Maybe, maybe they see some kind of lack because of what they see as something that's dysfunctional, or maybe they're so unable to open up that they unintentionally create lack when they're looking for abundance. Because in, in, instead of coming from an abundant place, they're coming from a place of lack. But this, this person does seem very, very focused on success. I don't know what success, but this person is very focused on success. Um, this person... person may feel that you are very, you know, s stuck in some kind of mentality, or this person is extremely stuck in a mentality. I feel like this person may be extremely stuck in a mentality. And we have the, again, chariot moving forward towards success. We have the queen of cups. This has been a very low cup reading. And the High Priestess. Does this person see you as very wise? Does this person see themselves as very wise? I feel like you may have been offering them something emotional, um, something genuine and real, something that Maybe this person is just really too locked up. In whatever mindset they have. Yeah. Regarding love, regarding affection, this person... Like, their heart's locked up. This person does have the key to release themselves... But I feel like they're instead very preoccupied with success. Uh, and it's not that there's anything wrong with success. I just feel like this person is, is somehow feeling like they have to preclude the emotional satisfying for, for it feel like that's in itself like maybe this person is a workaholic maybe this person is you know like seeking something that's truly not balanced and even if there is something that you can build that's stronger even if there is a great connection like maybe this person yeah get addicted to growth so I feel like this person may be addicted to growth, but I feel like this person believes that they have to sacrifice things that maybe they really don't need to. Be still. This For you, should you be still? Because I feel like they're so focused on moving forward, maybe they don't allow them to be still. I think that this person doesn't allow them that stillness because they don't want to deal with what's going on in their head. Okay. Heal thyself with doctor. So, we have intuition. It's like intuition is trying to come to them. They don't want to face whatever these thoughts are. And it looks like, I think that they, I don't think that they allow themselves to be still. Because if they allowed themselves to be still, then they'd have to maybe 
question some of this. Anything else we need to let the gorgeous pile pour know? Five of cups. I feel like this person does feel a sense of loss. Uh, page of pentacles. Is this regarding why? Because page of pentacles can be baby steps. It can be about. It, uh, it can be like giving just a, too little. This person just may feel like they can't afford to give. Yeah, I feel like this person probably gives too little and they're in conflict. Um, they're very ambitious. Some of these people might be workaholics, but there's a need to focus on the emotional at some point with the gentleman and the cup. And this person doesn't necessarily focus on what they should be focusing on. Inanna, desire. Well, this person very well might be very desire focused. Again, if this person does have workaholic tendencies, there might be some kind of desire um, being that they're having to deal with. We've got the king, uh, the the crown. Um, it could be for the king. Uh, I think that maybe this person just feels like they have. This person feels like they have to prove themselves in some way. And when I say prove themselves some way, I'm not necessarily saying prove themselves to you. I feel like they there's some way in which they feel that they really need to prove themselves. And I feel like that's... That's part of what's not healthy that's going on here. Um, we have... The glasses so there's a need to really look at the situation and I feel like this person doesn't ever let themselves be still enough we have song so this person may like have a lot of songs that maybe make them think about you or maybe this is person trying to make a song I feel like either this person like has a lot of songs that think about you uh, they think about you regarding on yeah, I feel like there's a lot of things going below the surface regarding this person, and this person doesn't want to deal with any of it. So there's there's something, but they are like they are very focused on something. Uh, we have the six of cup, the swords, and the tower. I think that what's unfortunate is I've, I, I think that they're not putting their intention necessarily in the right place. Um, so there is something that is inherently unstable and there is something that is not healthy. Not that working is unhealthy, but working to excess uh, and, you know, not allowing yourself to have any connections, that's not healthy. Seeing other people who actually could be collaborating you as in your way, that's not healthy. So I feel like this person like doesn't, they don't want to look at themselves. And they may be like getting some kind of intuition, but they're also drowning that intuition out. So I hope that that helped you. If you do want a free reading, I'm giving away two as soon as I hit 9,000 subscribers. So be subscribed and comment. You're in the running for that. I will be giving away two. Thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and booking readings. I deeply appreciate it. Uh, and if you do want to book with me, my email's in the description right below the timestamps. Thank you so much. I deeply appreciate you.
I hope it helps.